Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and uh, I'm feeling kind of weird right now. So, um, I bought this, uh, I bought a couple of issues of Wonder Woman lately. All of them have been pretty bad, and I've talked at length about how Wonder Woman is consistently kind of stepped on <laughs> by um, the, the, the weight of writing her. Everyone just seems to clench up, and they don't know how to identify with her. And they can't just see her as what I see her as, a generic adventurer superhero. I grew up, that's what she was. She, was, she, she didn't have to be representative of all women or a peace ambassador. She was just on Super Friends. She was just one superhero among many. Um, she had an invisible jet. She was strong. That, that was it. You, didn't, you don't have to make it that complicated. Everyone makes this stuff so complicated. I have to read like a whole like Wikipedia about Greek gods just to like understand these stories. So anyway, we start off, and this is one of those uh, drawings that tricks your brain. Because you look at it, and you go, oh, this is really good. This is a really good artist. But when you see really good art, that's not what you say. <laughs> The whole point is it's supposed to, to get you like right in your, your little heart right there or, or evoke something. If you say flatly, like with no emotion, like Erica Henderson talking to a child, oh, this is certainly a good drawing. Her nose has the proper shape and contours of a human nose. Like, it's not good. Um, I've, I've talked about this uh, a couple times and I'm really thinking this is one of the big things I missed is that comics is being choked by fear there is so much fear I see it in people's emails to me I see in the way that pros deal with each other I see the way that fans have to like tap just slowly approach a, a, a pro oh, I can only say compliments I see it in the way they write I see it in the way they they <laughs> create or don't create I see it in the way they draw Everyone's so scared. The point about comics is not drawing a perfect little nose and a focused, grouped, medium-sized breast that won't offend anyone in either direction. This is, it's like comic books are big. They're like big emotions, bright colors, simple stories that sometimes have a little bit of depth, but not that much. What is this? It's <laughs> is she pulling this or holding on it? Are they friends? Is she choked? Because she seems fine. I don't even... How do I describe this? This is the face that Erica Henderson uh, gives you when you say that um, your baby fell down a well. She just goes like, Oh, I suppose in theory that's sad. She's got like a random tribal tattoo. <laughs> it's like, what is this? There is no life. There's, there's nothing in here. There was this good like 15 year uh, period where it was really cool to hate Rob Liefeld and I've always loved him forever and now people like him again. The reason that Rob Liefeld and Todd McFarlane and Mark Silvestri and all those guys, Eric Larson, Will Portacio, even guys like Jim Valentino who are kind of like farm league and you know to the you know major league, they all had freaking energy to them. They had like I don't want to say a fire inside, but they were people like they had emotions they 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 tried things this is literally like oh i don't want to get the, too crazy with this arm placement let's just have my roommate stay okay yeah and it's just, i don't want it to be too violent is she lifting up pulling her it just it just all looks still okay so I don't, so then we get this uh, kind of like brian hitch style wonder woman and the, the thing I've heard about the storyline is that they're going to reveal uh, Wonder Woman's brother. I'm like, all right, cool. And uh, I see this kind of Brian Hitch style. I'm like, all right, cool. I see one, want to see what happens. And then this happens. Remember the scenes of Man of Steel where Clark was just trying to be a regular guy? Okay, just that. It's that. <laughs> it's that to a T. He's this big, brawny, like, handsome dude with, like, cool hair and a beard. And he goes into town, and he's real nice. He's not weird or stinky. And all the old ladies want to freaking... 
teach them how to freaking uh, make them feel like, well, I don't know, well, I'm going with this. They're, they're, she's hot for him. This old lady's hot for him. And uh, then he's like posing over here like Henry Cavill. He lives up in this... At first I thought he was going to live in some like Unabomber shack. But he's got like a nice truck in this like giant like farmhouse with a mill on the side. I'm like, alright, cool. And then he like grabs a... Uh, an axe. And then he like chops a tree down. That makes a sound effect of clee cleave, and I don't even know what this is. Is this supposed to be a T? I thought it was like a hashtag. I don't know what it is. So then we find out that this guy's the son of Zeus, and this uh, chick right here is Darkseid's daughter. So there's a kind of cool thing, and I gotta skip a couple pages so I don't get a copyright strike. Uh, where basically it's cool. She goes, "Hey, it's basically like games. It's like." You're from the Sharks and I'm from the Jets. She's like, old gods, new gods. We're going to fight. And I was like, all right, that's that's all I needed. So the the fight was actually pretty cool. And then he's like, yeah, what's up? Fine, I'm Hercules. We're going to fight. Again, it's like a pretty cool fight. You know, stirring around these big uh, uh, trees. They're using that as weapons. But then she uses a... I thought it was a mother box. They kind of hide it. It's like this square thing. She sucks out all his power. And then she goes through a kind of non-standard uh, boom tube. And then uh, we get to, the, I, guess, I guess, the fight from the front. Except for it's totally different. She just knocks her out. So um, I've had this thing where I said uh, superheroes need to be awesome in every in every single comic. Even like Daredevil, when he was in, like born again and he was basically turned into a homeless person I didn't I didn't try to zoom in on our boobs I was just adjusting my seat I'm not that much of a creep um, but again, again she looks good she's like she looks like a woman she looks fit she's like strong she's got boob hips nice hair I, I like this I like this artist a little bit of a actually a lot of like kind of a DC style is like push it more you know dude I think you got you can push it in a direction you don't have to be so scared or so uh, you know reticent so, um, <laughs> she's stealing some, whatever. Um, she hits her with one punch. The problem is that this fight right here, by the way, did you notice how many pages it was before we saw Wonder Woman? I know we saw her on the first page, but that was, that was just almost kind of like an intro. Look, look at that, blah, 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 blah. I mean, honestly, the scene was pretty cool. It was an interesting little scene, because I thought this guy was going to be the brother that was going to be a bunch of issues, and then he gets killed. But... Man, it was like page 12 or 13 when Wonder Woman comes up. And it's like, oh, I want to see her fight. Oh, no, she just knocked her out with one punch. And then she catches her. And then Steve is sitting there like the biggest cuck ever. Just like, you did great. Look at his little simpy little face. He does not look... He's supposed to be like a Navy SEAL. Um, so then she's like, yeah, that was fun. And then they like tie up some loose ends from a previous storyline. Whatever. And then we just get this like... Cheese bowl, dude. He looks like the Higgins from Magnum PI. <laughs> I'm gonna drop some more Magnum PI references. Magnum PI was dope. That was a good show. If you're over at your Nana's house and she's got that like on a box set of DVDs or or laser discs, check it out. Um, but then like this is what I'm talking about. Where everyone's so scared. It's like she just got knocked out. Like she's just totally flat. Like she's slipping. Like push it. Have her look knocked out. Give her bigger boobs. Give her bigger muscles. Everything's so medium. We're going to set everything to medium. So then we just talk, talk, talk. And he does this thing where he's like, hello. When he just has this really, really circuitous way of introducing himself. He's like, I'm going to read this stuff. Um, Whether you know me or not, this is of no concern to me, Mr. Trevor. My business isn't with you, but rather your companion. From what I understand, your relationship with Wonder Woman here is indeed akin to that of a knight and a princess. Only that while I understand that knights protect princesses, Sir Trevor, this one can clearly protect herself. I imagine she can speak... God, dude, stop. There was like 13 pages of not Wonder Woman. She does literally like two things. She like knocks someone out and she says, oh, that was fun. And then this cheese ball, like, 
Well, this guy talks forever. So they take like two pages to get to the point. He's a freaking probate lawyer, and he's in charge of like being, you know, uh, the executor of a will. And Hercules died, and he left his fortune to Diana. I was like, all right. Did I really take like all these pages to do that? So then we cut back to what's her name, and um, it's not a mother box; it's some other thing. This part's pretty cool. So I guess I'm out of continuity. Dark side got reduced to a child, and now he's having to suck up energy to uh, grow back. Um, so now he's like kid Dark side, with his like daughter is kind of like his carer, like Eel is Ethan's carer on H three H three. But I was like, all right, cool. I'm kind of down with this. And uh, now they they had the the new fifty two, and then they had the fifty two comic weekly like four or five years ago. And I just finished this. I go. This is not a Wonder Woman. Like we can just take, we can just take this right off. It's not a Wonder Woman, even though her face was behind it. It's not a Wonder Woman comic. It's some other thing. It's the New Fifty Two. It's some kind of uh, Dark Side miniseries. I don't know what it is. So, um, yeah. So I like the fight at the beginning. I like this brother character, Hercules. Oh, he's not the brother. I like Dark Side's daughter. Um, I like that. The women looked like women, the men looked like men. It's pretty good action. It's just, you know, I, I say the superhero needs to do something awesome in every comic. Honestly, this didn't feel awesome. That fight was awesome. The other thing the superhero needs to do is they need to be in their own comic. Diana was barely the freaking old lady. The old lady was like trying to take reverse menopause pills so she could like have a fifth husband with this dude. She look look at the old lady had way more dialogue. She made change. She freaking just threw it at him like five different times. She's like, how many times do I have to throw it at this dude? Um Okay, this this is what this called. This 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 comic, I'm calling it Hot for Henry Cavill Sexy Septuagenarian. All right, so as that book, it was pretty good. As a Wonder Woman book, it just it's just like a total fail. It wasn't even a Wonder Woman book at all. So um, I'm just still gonna throw this at the wall because I like throwing these things. By the way, check it out. Yep, that's right. I forgot to take my comic. That's the ultimate diss. That is the ultimate diss. I threw that Spider-Man Generations over there by the radiator, and it's still there like 24 hours later. So I'm gonna see if I can land this on. I mean, honestly, this isn't bad, but I already ripped it. It's not really something you save. Oh, so would I recommend it? Uh, no. It sounds like it might be an interesting next issue. Like, I'm going to check out the next issue because I really want to find out about this kid dark side. I'm just so happy with this artist. Like, this girl looks hot. Yeah, she does have the mental illness hair net, haircut, but they didn't really emphasize it, so I didn't even really notice it. Good costume, good action. I like that she's, like, you can tell she's, like, really, like, loves her dad or kind of like uh, worships him so it's a cool thing i'm used to the women always like hating their dads or just okay so all right so um i wouldn't recommend to read this it was a good story it just wasn't a good wonder woman story but i'm going to check out the next issue because i like the the team james robinson the uh artist pingalan pingal pingalanan by the way this thing where i just butchered someone's name that's like 90 percent of being in the military like 90, they're just calling people's names out, and all the staff sergeants are all from like Kansas or Colorado. So if your name isn't Smith or Jones, they will s screw it up every day for four years, or however long your enlistment is. So it was Carlo Pagolian. So like I said, Filipinos are best people, so I think that's a Filipino name. Anyway, I'm gonna try to get it over there with the Spider-Man. All right, so it fell on the other side. So this side of the radiator is like pretty good books, and then that side is bad books. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're sub still subscribed. There's like a bug or something where people get unsubscribed. Uh, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone who gave to the Patreon and the uh, um, Super Chat. I've got a new channel that's only for streaming videos, because people didn't like streaming videos mixed in with the regular videos on the main channel. It's called Splato Delgato. There's a link in the description of this video.
So I was doing this thing where I was going to like, uh, oh, I'm going to have videos every night at 9 or 11. It's like, yeah, I can't predict them. I'm always going to be home or whatever. But I did notice there's a feature where you can schedule it. So I'm going to experiment with that tonight. I'm going to set the schedule like an hour and a half before it starts. So if you're following me, if you're following, yeah, if you're following, go over to Splato Delgato, so subscribe and hit the bell. And it should give you a notice every time I'm going to do a stream. It's going to be a fun stream. The Friday and Saturday night streams, I like, I'm like. i going to flip through a comic. I'm going to flip through. Oh, yeah. I'm going to flip through the Star Wars comic. And we're just going to talk about generic comic stuff. It was really fun. I think we went for like an hour last time. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Uh, oh, I already said all that stuff. Okay. <laughs> talk to you later. Bye.